Welcome to ECCB Connects. Dcash, the digital version of the EC dollar, will soon be available. As we move closer to launch, find out how you can use Dcash to make payments and transfer EC funds. Stay with us. We'll tell you more after the break. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank is proud to introduce Dcash, the official digital version of the EC dollar. Dcash is the safer, faster, cheaper way to send and receive payments within the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union, all using your smart device. For more information, visit the ECCB's website. Dcash, coming soon. Thanks for staying connected. Today, I have with me Shaman Powell, Chair of the ECCB FinTech Working Group. Shaman, welcome to ECCB Connects. Thank you, Karina. It's good to be back. Now, the ECCB is gearing up to launch Dcash, which is the digital version of the EC dollar. And that's going to be happening in the next few weeks. Tell us what will be happening as we get ready to see Dcash live in action. Well, over the next few weeks, you will have seen a lot more information being presented to the public about Dcash, and then we'll get into the actual onboarding of persons, individuals, and merchants to actually use Dcash. So when you say onboarding, what, what does that mean? That involves signing up, actually downloading the wallets, and actually loading the wallets with the Dcash in preparation for spending. If I'm a consumer, a person, a regular person, how would I be able to use Dcash? There are two ways in which you can be part of this Dcash pilot, whether as a registered-based user or a value-based user. So for the registered base, if you have an account with one of the participating financial institutions, whether it's a commercial bank or a credit union, then you get a registered-based wallet. You, reg you onboard through that financial institution. However, if your financial institution is not participating or you don't have a bank account or credit union account, then you get a value-based wallet. So those are the two options you have for being part of Dcash Pilot. It's like you said, I don't have a bank account. My, my financial institution isn't participating. How would I actually um, sign up and get to use Dcash? So in each of the pilot countries, we have agencies. So for example, in St. Kitts, we have JAD Cash and TDC Financial Services. In Antigua and Barbuda, we have St. John's Cooperative Credit Union. In St. Lucia, we have Capital. And we have Penny Pinchers, and in Guinea, we have Huggins Enterprises. These are the agencies operating in the four pilot countries. And so as an individual who wants a value-based wallet, you go into any one of these agents. Once you've downloaded the application online, the, the consumer app, and you enter the information, the basic information, which is your name, your address, and you upload a photo ID along with a government-issued ID, then it is routed to one of these agents, and once they approve it, then you are onboarded for the value-based wallet. So it's, it's a very simple process. It just requires downloading the app, filling out the basic information, and then having one of the agents approve your application, and then you're good to go. And of course, the, the, the app can be downloaded via their smart device from either the Google or Apple Play stores. It's as simple yes, it as that, and it's yes, free for them simple. to use. Yes, it's free. So, Shaman, for the value-based customers, those who don't have a bank account or their financial institution is not part of the pilot, they would be registered once they download the app, then they'd be directed to one of the agencies in the four pilot countries. Correct. Now, let's move to those with uh, a bank account whose financial institution is participating in the pilot. How do they get involved? So, for those customers, there are two options their financial institution can choose to reach out to them and invite them to be part of the pilots. So that, that way, they, the financial institution will send a code to this customer and invite them to join. However, if your financial institution is participating and you did not get a code from them, you can actually request a code. So when you download the app, it has an option that allows you to request a code from your financial institution. Once you request that code, it's provided to you, and then you go through the process. Now, the financial institution will use your KYC information. They know your customer information, and they will complete your application, and they will onboard you. So it's either initiated by them or by you. 
All right. So in, in, in requesting to be a part of it, of course, due diligence and an application process still has to be done to ensure that you, you know, you are ready and meet the criteria to be part of this. Yes, and the, and the financial institution will leverage what the information they already have with you as an account holder. They will just verify against the information that you provide. So one of the details you have to provide is your account number. So once you provide your account number, they can use that now to verify your information to make sure that you, are, you meet the criteria for a, a registered-based wallet. Shaman, as we've been speaking about the financial institutions, I know that we have financial institutions in each of the four countries, in Antigua and Barbuda, in... Grenada in St. Kitts and Nevis and St. Lucia. Where are we um, in terms of those who are participating? Can you share? So currently, Karina, we're actually going to the final readiness checks to make sure that all the financial institutions that have volunteered to be part of the pilot are in fact ready for launch. And so what we will do as we get ready to onboard customers, we'll issue a complete list of all the financial institutions who are participating in the launch. So over the next week or two, the complete list will be available to the public and they will now be able to indicate or to choose which financial institution they will onboard with. Now we've spoken about the consumers, the customers, how they sign up um, to their financial institution if they have a bank account or without a bank account, they do it to their agencies. But another key grouping in this whole um, project are the merchants because they will also facilitate how Dcash is used and used to transfer and pay for goods and services. How do they sign up to be part of the project? The merchants sign up through their financial institutions because as they will appreciate, they would have large balances of Dcash because they are actually taking the Dcash in exchange for goods and services. So all merchants must have an account at a participating financial institution to be part of the pilot, given the, the large sums. And so they too will be onboarded through their financial institutions. So what we have happening currently as well, that financial institutions are in fact reaching out to their merchant customers, inviting them to be part of the pilot. And so that way they can sign on and they can start the process. But in addition to that, we are inviting merchants who are interested in being part of the pilot, who may not have been contacted by a financial institution, but they actually have an account at one of the participating institutions. They can send an email to merchant at eccb-centralbank.org and a member of our marketing and our sales team will reach out to them and guide them to the process of being part of the pilot. Now, Dcash as the digital version of the EC dollar can be used to send and receive funds from individual to individual. It can be used to pay for goods and services and, and transact business. Some persons would say it's a, you know, I have credit cards, I have cash, I can use other forms of or methods to transfer funds. Why use Dcash? Well, Karina, for that, I use our, our cash phrase. It's faster, safer, and cheaper. In the case of being faster, if we compare it with your debit cards, settlement is instantaneous. So when you do a transaction, the funds leave your wallet immediately, and it goes to the receiver's wallet immediately. There's no lag. It's almost it's instantaneous. So it's faster. So if you're sending funds, for example, to somebody in another pilot country, once you send the funds, they receive it right away. Similarly, if you pay for goods at a merchant, whereas with your debit card or your credit card, it, it takes a day or two for the transaction to settle, it's settled immediately. So the, the, the immediately you see your funds, your wallet reduced by the amount you spend, and the merchant, their wallet increases by the amount you pay them. So it is, it is faster. Um, it is safer than cash. Now we know that with physical cash, you can lose your cash, you have, you have persons stealing from you. What we have is, this is a, um, almost foolproof. The funds are held on the blockchain and you access it through your smart device and the security features are such that your funds are secure. We have the um, access, we have access restrictions, we use biometrics, we use passwords, um, we use multi-factor authentication, we have double, more than one level of authentication. So it's actually safer than carrying around physical cash. And we want to stress that the Dcash is an alternative to physical cash, so it is safer. And it is cheaper as well because I mean, from, from a merchant point of view or even F, a financial institution point of view, it is um, expensive to handle cash. We have to actually have security, the cost of, of moving around cash. And as well, the, the cost of actually doing the cash transactions for the pilot, is, there's no cost to it. It's free. So it's, it's actually cheaper for, the, for all involved to actually transact in Dcash. 
So faster, safer, cheaper. And of course, in the COVID environment, we did, we, we're looking at um, contact experiments. This is the answer to that because no contact is required to, to um, exchange in Bcash, to the transactions in Bcash. Shami, we mentioned before that the initial launch of Dcash will only take place in four of the ECCB member countries. Um, and again, that's Antigua and Barbuda, Grenada, St. Kitts and Nevis, and St. Lucia. Now, persons in the other member countries may ask, why not us? Why are we not being, you know, part of this at this point? Can you shed some light on that? So, Karina, you correctly said that it's in the four countries initially. However, the intention is that as a pilot progressive, progressive, sorry, we extend it to the, all eight countries. So at the end of the process, all eight countries would have had an opportunity to use the Dcash and to be part of this testing phase for the Dcash. So it will eventually be rolled out in all eight countries. Shaman, finally, where can persons go if they want to find out more about Dcash and how to get involved? So the Dcash information is available on the ECB's website ecb-centralbank.org and you will see you can go to the quick link for dcash and also on our ecb connects facebook page where all things dcash will be posted there as well so all the information you need will be there and as the weeks progress closer to launch we'll have more and more information being pushed out to the public on this momentous and life-changing venture shaman thank you so much for speaking with us on ecb connects Thank you very much, Karina. It was good to be here. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank is proud to introduce Dcash, the official digital version of the EC dollar. Dcash is the safer, faster, cheaper way to send and receive payments within the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union, all using your smart device. For more information, visit the ECCB's website, Dcash. Coming soon. To view any episode of ECCB Connects anytime, any place at your convenience, check us out on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn at ECCB Connects. And now for this week's financial tip. My name is Grace Saja. I attend the Rosa Primary School in Dominica. Attack your debt. The goal is to get bills under control and free up cash to put towards your dream. We've come to the end of this episode of ECCB Connects. For more information about Dcash, the digital version of the EC dollar, visit the ECCB's website at www.eccb-centralbank.org. Thanks for watching and join us again next week when we bring you another episode of ECTV.